Today on the podcast, I want to talk about a really interesting story in the AI and music space. This is a space that's been heating up a lot lately. I've had people on the podcast before that are talking about some different interesting AI music startups. But today specifically, I want to talk about Refusion, which is an AI generating music app. And it has recently turned a viral success into about $4 million of funding. We're going to be talking about how they did that, what they're spending the funding on, and what they're you know planning on doing into the future. So without further ado, let's dive into it. Welcome to the world's number one AI podcast, AI Chat. I'm your host, Jaden Schaefer. Make sure that you go to AIbox.ai, link in the show notes, to join the waitlist for our new AI platform. We're going to be launching an incredible platform that allows you to build anything you want with workflows um, in AI. So you're able to chain together chat GPT and image generators and audio generators to make really powerful apps for your organization, or you can host them on our marketplace and actually generate royalties from them. So make sure to go to AIbox.ai and join the waitlist. In addition, if you like the podcast, if you could do me a massive favor and please leave us a review on Apple or Spotify or wherever you listen to your podcast. This helps me be able to get better guests on here as they check the reviews to see how you guys are liking it. So if you could please do that, I would really, really appreciate it. Have you ever wanted to start your own podcast? I record and publish podcasts on a platform called Spotify for Podcasters, and I absolutely love it. Essentially, you can upload from your phone or computer, and it distributes to every platform that plays podcasts. They support video podcasts, and you can make money on the platform with ads or even podcast subscriptions, something that has made my life so much easier as a podcaster. So if you're interested, I highly recommend you give it a try. You can download the Spotify for Podcast app or go to spotify.com slash podcasters to get started on your podcast today. So a year ago, there was Seth Forgren and Hake Martinos. They were both developers and they unveiled Refusion. So this was a really unique project that essentially kind of harnessed the power of images to generate music. Now, this might sound counterintuitive, but it was a huge revelation. So as millions of you know curious users discovered this whole thing, Refusion not only piqued the interest of music enthusiasts, but also it was really popular. Um, a lot of you know big tech companies were looking at it, specifically Meta, Google, and you know TikTok. Um, so they all kind of cited it in recent research papers. So I think this really intriguing venture um, got a lot of investors also attracted to it. So today, Ferguson and Martiro have decided to take Refusion to the next level, um, and they have just closed a seed round of four million dollars. And they have, you know, Greycroft, which is leading that round, which of course is a massive, um, massive VC firm, top, you know, top 10 VC firm in the US. And I think it's also interesting. They also have some, you know, big celebrities. They have, uh, you know, the chain smokers, I believe, invested in there. And I think the chain smokers have their own kind of VC fund that they have started. So that's, that's probably why they're interested in getting into this space, particularly. Um, and then I think they also have South Park Commons and Sky9 that are investing. So in any case, um, Refusion right now is launching an upgraded version of its platform, which is, of course, a free to use app that lets people, um, you know, you describe a lyrics and a musical style, and then it can help generate shareable riffs. So as Forgren explains, um, the new Refusion empowers anyone to create original music via short shareable audio clips. Users simply describe the lyrics and musical style, and our model generates riffs complete with singing and custom artwork in a few seconds. From inspiring musicians to wishing your mom uh, good morning, riffs are a new form of expression and communication that dramatically reduces the barrier to music creation. I think this is really interesting. Like, there's a whole bunch of um, people that are interested kind of in the space, but this is definitely one that's been there from the beginning. Um, and it's, you know, it's been there quite early. It's obviously very popular. It's cited in a lot of big um, papers from a lot of big companies. But I think this is such a fascinating area where really music has been democratized and i know there's gonna be a lot of people that complain about this type of technology the same thing with like mid journey a lot of artists complained that hey you know if you anyone can create art on mid journey you know what's the point of our skill there, there's of course a whole reckoning that happens there i think it's going to happen in music i think it's going to happen in audio podcasts like this one you're listening to right maybe i'll be an ai someday i don't know um and then of course video will be a really big one too that's coming down the pipe so Forrest Grin and Martrios go way back. They both actually met at Princeton during their undergrad. Um, and they spent the last, I think, decade just like jamming together in an amateur band. So um, they kind of bring their experience from founding two venture-backed tech companies, Hardline and Yodel. 
And uh, Materos worked as one of the early employees at a drone startup called Skydio. Um, and so I think the pandemic, which kind of brought, you know, more time at home inspired Forrest Grin to learn to play the piano. And as he says, you know, he, he reflected on the power of music during times of isolation and sees potential for generative AI tools to connect people through creativity. So it's kind of interesting. He specifically said, quote, Generative AI is a new and rapidly changing space, and Refusion aims to harness this technology to deliver a fun new instrument, one that empowers everyone to actively create music throughout their lives. I think the enhanced Refusion, like now that they have, is powered by a custom-trained audio model. So like the the one they had before, it's fine-tuned on spectrograms, which visually, which are essentially visual representations of audio that depict the amplitude of different frequencies over time. So Forscreen and Martyrios um, created spectrograms of various like music genres and tagged these images with relevant terms like, you know, blues guitar or jazz piano. And this approach essentially helped the model learn what different sounds look like and how to recreate or combine, combine them based on a text prompt. This is so interesting, right? This um, it's really when they kind of explained how they've done this is one of the first times I've actually really looked into how music generating AI works. And it's so interesting that like this at the end of the day, this is like pretty much you can do this with stable diffusion, essentially, right? Like this is the same way you generate images, like it's trained on images of what the audio looks like. And it's not necessarily trained on and I'm sure there's, you know, there's other things that go into it, it's like sounds of instruments and stuff. But it's literally just trained on the images of audiograms, which is just or spectrograms, sorry, which is just so fascinating to me. And that's how they're able to recreate this. So essentially, right, users describe musical qualities using natural language. Um, they can also even record their own voice to prompt the model to generate some unique outputs. There's a ton of different possibilities here. Essentially, it's enabling music producers and audio engineers, I think, to explore new ideas and find inspiration in entirely new ways. Now, a lot of people are going to tell you, hey, don't worry, this is just, you know, helping you get inspiration. Honestly, probably the original Refusion team is going to tell you stuff like that. Um, I believe this technology goes to a place where essentially anyone can recreate any song in the style of any person with any voice, and maybe even you, like, record yourself talking or singing um and it can put your own voice right like we we can create ai versions of our voice we can clone our voice on something like 11 labs wouldn't it be interesting if you could say i want a song about x y and z here's a couple clips of me singing throw it in this style edit it to sound nice and it makes anyone into a singer very very interesting concept um a lot of people though are asking about copyright concerns lately homemade tracks using you know generative ai have gone viral um, causing a lot of people to worry about potential copyright infringements. I personally have heard a bunch of really funny Johnny Cash songs on YouTube that Johnny Cash did not sing. Um, and so, yeah, people are kind of concerned about that. Foursquare is kind of quick to clarify that the improved revision isn't trained to recognize famous artists or songs and can't replicate them. Now, the caveat there is he said the improved revision, so obviously, or refusion. So obviously the first version they came out with was doing that, but they've fixed that since. Um, he said, quote, the production isn't built to produce deep fakes and doesn't recognize famous artists names and its prompts. Instead, it lets users craft personal messages and catchy hooks using the app. Now, a lot of people probably are like, oh, come on. I wanted to like, you know, make stuff just for myself of, you know, artists and whatnot. I think it's essentially they're just avoiding lawsuits at this point. Um, if you if you go look it up, I, I believe there was Anthropic that just got served a bunch of lawsuits from a bunch of different music production um, studios and whatnot, because if you ask Anthropic for the lyrics to songs, it'll give you the lyrics to songs, and that's all under copyright and licensing agreements, and so uh, or essentially they're getting sued for that right now, which, I mean, in my opinion, that's kind of silly, like, who cares? You can Google it and just find the content on Google anyways, but yeah, whatever, yada yada, a bunch of licensing stuff, it's just the lyrics, but Anyways, Anthropic's getting sued, and so I feel like the music industry is pretty sue happy, to be honest. And uh, yeah, personally, not a fan of that, but that's just me um, because it, it kind of makes it like a bummer when like I would love to make a bunch of Johnny Cash songs just for myself about random stuff um, or whatever artist. And I know I don't know, eh, maybe there's a way to license that to give the artist like some sort of credit for it. Nah, I don't want to pay them, so that's just me. I'm sure I'll get a lot of criticism for that. I would like to I'd like to just be able to do that. I know it's possible. And honestly, 
I could probably just go and like get a clip of them singing or talking on YouTube and upload it to something like um, there's going to be platforms where it says like upload your own voice to, to use for the sample and you just upload a famous person's voice. And I don't know if they'll be able to like detect like this is, you know, Katy Perry, you can't use this voice or whatever. So it'll be interesting to see where that goes. But I'm sure there's going to be a that's going to be like one of the big areas where if um, the music industry really does push back hard on it. I think all they're going to do is force people to just go open source and there's going to be like quote unquote bootlegged like music app, AI music apps where you can like download them on your computer. It's just not going to be like a web app. It's just going to be like an open source. Download it on your computer. Then you can make deep fakes of anyone's voice. I think there's already a bunch of tech like that. It'll just get more common. In any case, monetization strategies for refusion, I think are still in the works. They're still kind of focusing on expanding and developing new generative AI products. However, there are, I think, some hints of collaborations with a bunch of artists. The chain smokers obviously invested, so they were interested in collaborating um, to essentially explore how this technology could enhance their creative process. As Foregreen points out, it's very early days for generative music, and Refusion stands out as one of the first to enable users to generate lyrics to their music via a fun and accessible website. Very interesting to follow this and to see where it goes in the future. Um, hopefully, you know, we get a lot of great products and it doesn't get too litigated and I don't know, it'll be interesting to see where this goes, but I'm very interested in music and AI. I'll keep you updated on it in the future. This episode is brought to you by Klaviyo, the platform that powers smarter digital relationships. With Klaviyo, you can activate all your customer data in real time, connect seamlessly with your customers across all channels, guide your marketing strategy with AI powered insights, recommendations, and automated assistance deliver experiences that feel individually designed at scale and grow your business faster. Power smarter digital relationships with Klaviyo. Learn more at klaviyo.com slash Spotify. That's K-L-A-V-I-Y-O dot com slash Spotify. This episode is brought to you by Shopify. That's the sound of switching your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling. Harness the best converting checkout and same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Stop leaving sales on the table. Discover why millions trust Shopify to build, grow, and run their business. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech23. Thank you for listening to the AI Chat Podcast. If you enjoyed the podcast, I'd appreciate it if you rate me wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you're looking for an innovative group of AI enthusiasts, make sure you check out our Discord channel and also our Facebook community. It's obviously a lot more interactive than a podcast where we can actually share software tools, prompts that we're using in everyday AI. I'll leave a link for those in the description below. 